Heyo everyone and welcome to another video. So, in this previous night we got a maintenance in the game, which basically is supposed to fix a lot of uh, Pokemon skills that were not working uh, properly, but also adding these Pokemon to the shiny list, which uh, a lot of people got like Overlord stickers for the Alga, for the news or work and stuff, and they were not in the shiny list yet. So if you do have those Overlord stickers right now, you can already uh, spend your diamonds on the shiny list to refresh and you can find those Pokemon in the shiny list. So uh, what is this video about today? Today I do have uh, a, lot of, a lot of items over here to use. I do have also a lot of um, End of War cards, I think that's the name. Let me see. End of War... Uh, something. End of War pro Proofs. <laughs> it's something like this. These items you can buy on the VIP store and it also drops from the Forest of Harvest, right? Like the Forest of Harvest drops you items to level up and power up this section over here and also drops in the war proofs which you can see down here so what i'll be doing today is honestly just checking out how much power do i get from finishing this uh all all of my stats to 2.4k and also unlocking these last spots on the effort stabilizers which will supposedly if everything goes as planned when I max that out, I will have a beautiful shiny bar up there on my Mewtwo, which will look pretty nice. So, right now I'm also trying a new emulator, which is LD Player, and honestly, so far, so good, because uh, the game is acting smooth so far. It takes a little bit longer to load in some situations, like in some battles, but other than that, it has been amazing so far, and... Honestly, no complaints. Now, um, I will, like, since I am boosting this thing so fast, I have to pay attention to the numbers. For example, right now is 2394. Since every time that I use an end of war, it levels up 10 times of my stat, it's kind of a waste that if I it just leave it like this because it, it's only missing a six. So, honestly, I could just do it like this. Oh. Confirm to quit no. So I can do it like slowly like this now without end of our proofs and trying to always get the positive. As long as I have more positives than negatives, I will be fine with that. So that was basically the same. M minus four plus four. And now with this plus two, this one is maxed out. And now I will start using the end of our proofs again. Until I see something is close to, to be max and I will stop doing that again. So now, for example, looking at this one, it's only one needed. So I, ju I can just do it like this. This one is maxed. Let's go use the, the proofs again. Again, these ones, like really close to be maxed. So let's chill and use those like this. This one is already maxed and maybe... There you go, two more maxed, and now it should be like pretty quick to to just go up until the maximum amount. You see, it didn't took so long. There you go, everything maxed. Now to the breakthrough, you need those legendary enhancers. But honestly, if you get up to this point, you should have more than enough of these things. Also costs a ton of gold. Let me see, breaking through. We already got to unlock the, the the new um the new thing and now on the effort stabilizer I also unlocked a new spot. And what I'm gonna do is first of all I'm just gonna place them all. Since Mewtwo is a special attacker, I don't want to care about physical attack at all. So I want to level up everything else except the um, the physical attack. So I'm gonna start with the HP. If I go over here and upgrade, every time I click on the upgrade, it's calculating the power. So one of the, the things that you can do to do this quickly is like you remove your thing and you level this up outside. This, this way it's not calculating the power and it's not delaying the process of, uh, you know, leveling up your stuff. 
So you you just level up as as um, the most you can, and then you can set up. And there you go. It's much faster this way. I'm not going to do this with physical attack, but I'll do this with everything else. So for example, I have a plus three over here on the physical defense. I'm just going to remove. I'm going to upgrade them outside of the Pokemon so that it's much faster. And there we go. Now I can just set up and it's over here. 988, so we are really close. Let's go. We going to oh wait. We're going to upgrade until level 10. And there you go. And set up now. And finally to the speed. The speed was already done. So a total sta stability value progress is 1004, which complete is the bar. And we get also these boosts, uh, these beautiful boosts over here and more stats on Forest of Harvest, which is awesome. So with this small a little boost, um, you guys can see like even like this kind of stuff was not that much power. I started the video with the Mewtwo. Mewtwo had 19. 0.9 million power now it's 20.2 so I got 300,000 power in my Pokemon it's not that bad you know it could be better but it's not that bad and I think it's already a uh, nice enough by the way for those who don't know this um, effort value thing you unlock this at level 85 if I'm not wrong and you should have this um, on your team section where you come and play over here and when you go and defeat overlord bosses and stuff you get materials to upgrade that over there okay i believe this is it this is the video uh thank you guys so much for watching uh and since we already have the the shiny pokemon available i will be soon posting videos of some of those overlords uh, on action especially the zoroark and dialga that a lot of people are hyped about but also the entei and hopefully the aerodactyl as well oh well this is it for today i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like subscribe all that good stuff and see you guys on the next video